Burgundy is the It Fall lip color for 2024. And in my recent beauty trends video, I asked if some of you wanted to see my burgundy lipstick collection and it turns out that you do. Only come to find out, this was harder than I thought. Burgundy is a hard color to pin down. So I actually have 16 that are brown burgundy to purpley pink burgundy. So if you wanna see what those are in my collection and maybe pick up a few of these yourself, keep on watching. Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion, beauty, and fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, lipstick recommendations, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe, stick around, and be a friend. Okay, you guys, so yes, I, if you, in case you missed it, I did a video on the beauty trends forecasted for fall, and really it was red lips and burgundy lips as two different trends, and I was like, ooh, I have some burgundy lipsticks, and asked if you guys wanted to see them. A few of you were like, yes, yes, we want to see, and so I was going through my collection thinking, all right, I've got a bunch of burgundy lipsticks only to find out as I was really looking at them and kind of swatching them, I thought, dang, these are actually like not necessarily spot on burgundy, but they're really, really close, like the one that I have on right now. So I still thought this would be a fun video to show you guys what I have, and maybe this will help you pick out the right tone of burgundy for you. So what I actually have on my lips today, this is what I call sort of like a burnt raisiny sort of um, burgundy. And this is a brand new lipstick from CoverGirl. These are actually, they're carmine free. So they are truly, truly animal free, completely this um, lipstick. And this is the shade River Plum. So yeah, it's sort of like a plumbing color, but like a little bit dirty plum which I think it kind of passes. Like I'm picturing if I was wearing something burgundy, I think this lip would go with it really nicely. So this is a really awesome formula. I recently did a favorite drugstore formula lipstick video. I did not have these yet. I got these in PR. I got sent six shades and they have been pure knockouts. I love the shades of these. The only thing I will say, they're extremely comfortable. Like, like they glide on very, very pigmented. They have this shine to them. They do move around a lot. Like as far as if you're drinking something or you barely hit, it's going to smear. That doesn't always bother me that much. I'm just more aware when I'm wearing lipsticks like that to be careful. So I think they're very comfortable. These are ones I can get away with not putting on gloss on top. And I'm normally a lipstick than a gloss girl, but these are really, really hydrating and comfortable. And this shade, River Plum, I think is a gorgeous fall shade that's kind of just right there on the cusp of being burgundy. And you're going to see that with a lot of these. They are on the cusp. All right, this next one is a Milani. And this is actually the Balm, the Color Fetish Balm. So they're not the matte ones I showed in that favorites video. These are the Balms. This is in the shade Nylon. The reason why I did not show this one as a favorite as far as formula. This is another one that is very shiny, very comfortable and hydrating, but man, does it transfer quite a bit. But as long as you're aware of that and you don't mind it, I, it is very comfortable. And this shade I think is pretty darn close to being burgundy. It maybe has a slightly pinky tone to it, but very, very comfortable. Love the packaging as well on this one. All right, next we have one from Gourmande Girl. So she did come out with these lipsticks quite a while ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, and I purchased them myself. I did not get these in PR. Um, I really like this packaging, really, really pretty silver bullet. This is the shade Vino. So obviously it's kind of a wine shade. So this one here, is a little bit more of a like Cabernet sort of shade. So you can see the difference in the two. We kind of just depend on if you like something more shiny, less opaque or something more opaque. But these are fairly drying. They're not the most comfortable. 
And I always say, like when people complain about a lipstick, um, you know, being too dry, I really, really enjoy putting a gloss on top. And you could do a clear gloss, you could do something that's sort of close in color, or you could change it if you want like a little gold shimmer in there, just put a gloss on top. I think that fixes the issue personally, but I know some people just wanna do a lipstick, not put a gloss, but in case it's not the most hydrating, that lipstick. All right, next we have the Milani Color Statement Lipstick. This is in Tuscan Toast. And this one at first by the name, and it had been a while since I wore it, I was like, well, this may be a little too toasty. But, and you can see it does have more of a red tone in it, but I think it kind of depends because just like there's different tones with your lipsticks, there's going to be different tones of say, if you have like a burgundy sweater on or something like that, it may be more of a toasty burgundy or it may be more of a purpley one. So this is definitely, you can tell the difference. This is more purpley. This is more toasty. I do like that formula as well. That Milani color statement is a really, really good formula. Next, we have the Lancome. I absolutely love these. This is the La Absolute Rouge, and this is Got Me Blushing. I love how it clicks out, and this is a very comfortable, luxurious formula. So this is gonna go below the Gourmand Girls right here. They're not too far away. This is a little, a little pinkier, I would say, while this is a little more purple. This is an awesome formula. I love it. I think it's very, very, very comfortable. That's pretty close to burgundy right there, I would say. Like these two are probably the closest so far. You guys need these, these are really good. All right, next we do have a um, color fetish matte. This is the shade Fleur. And I'm just gonna put this one on the bottom. So this one's definitely more of a purpley tone as well. It's kind of a, a fuchsia burgundy. Should we just come up with a new word? Call it like furgundy. <laughs> I like furgundy. It's a furgundy shade. Um, I love this formula. I had one of my sweet, sweet friends love her to death. She um, said that she, she didn't like these because she thought they were too drying. I find these very, very hydrating person or not hydrating. No, 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 take it back. No. Velvety, not hydrating. I find them very velvety. They're not like a dry crumbly or like drag across the lick, Ugh, the, lick. the lip um, formula. I think they're very velvety, soft, pillowy, but to me, any matte is a little bit drying. They're just gonna be more so than like a creamy um, or like shiny sort of formula. So again, I love wearing mattes for pictures. Like say, you know you're gonna have pictures taken, whether it's like holiday pictures, family pictures, something, matte looks so good. And then you could slap a gloss on after that. Um, I think that solves the issue, but here is Fleur, the, um, matte color fetish mattes by milani okay this next one i had these in my favorites um drugstore as well the slim packaging l'oreal color rich this is the shade le plum dominant so that one's going on the bottom so this is a little bit deeper definitely a little more plummy but i don't know i think that looks Compared to the rest, like I still think these are maybe the most um, burgundy looking here. But then when you have this next to it, it kind of makes these look more pinky. So I really, really love this formula though. It's a very luxurious feeling. Another one that feels pretty pillowy and velvety when it goes on. Um, I do have a couple of glosses in here too that I'll get to. <clears throat> now this is by Propa Beauty. This is the shade Audacious. I love Propa. Now talk about, this is a hydrating lipstick for sure. I love Propa. I've recently been saying and tagging them saying like, I, if they came back, they haven't gone out of business. You can get their lipsticks right now, I think for half price. I think they're seven something dollars and they are incredible. I have every shade that they have. They have not come out with new shades in a couple of years and they're not very active on social. So I don't know what's going on, but I keep tagging them saying, if they came out with 50 lipsticks, 
50 shades of this formula, I would buy every single one of them. And I'm not kidding. I love this formula. I love the packaging. I love how it looks on. So again, this is Audacious. This formula is kind of similar to how this looks. It has a nice shine to it. And even though there's no plumping in here, like there's no tingly, no cooling sensation, I always feel like my lips look bigger when I wear these lipsticks. I love it. So Audacious here, little purpley, little purpley, but fairly close. All right, now we have a lip stain. This is Violet Water by Clarins. So this is kind of on the cusp. It is going to be kind of magenta-y looking, actually. Here it is right here. So yeah, this looks like, are you crazy, girl? But really, when it becomes more of a stain, that brightness kind of wears off. I don't know if it's going to work as well on my arm as it does on the lips. But the vibrancy kind of goes, it gets that sort of popsicle stain to it. It's kind of losing its pigment a lot, um, trying to rub it in, but on the lips, it's more pigmented than this, and it has a kind of purpley, burgundy look to it. So this is more for if you're just looking for a lip stain, and actually, highly recommend doing this, is using a lip stain as a primer for the lip. Like if you have a formula, like the one I'm wearing right now, that moves around a lot, if you put a lip stain on first and then you put the slippery formula on, it will help keep it stay put better. Doesn't mean that it's completely transfer proof, but it won't be as bad as without. So that's what I would use this for is a like burgundy lip um, primer. Okay, now we do have a no, let's do glosses last. Okay, so this is the Revlon um, Lustrous Matte in Insane. And let's just keep it going in line here. So this one is definitely kind of brighter on the cusp of being a fuchsia, but not quite. Like I know if I compare this to a purely fuchsia shade that I have, this would look a little deeper. So if like these are too deep for you and you like a brighter shade, like this is probably gonna make your teeth look whiter. It is closer, just know that, closer to being a pinky tone than a true burgundy. But if you know these just make your teeth look yellower, then you could try this and sort of pass it off. That one's definitely on the cusp. Okay. Then next we have by KVD Beauty, this is Vampira. I love, I love, for one, I just, I love these so much. They remind me of the uh, Valentino uh, perfumes, like Born in Roma flankers. I love this shade. This is so vampy. This is a vampy burgundy shade. So it's right here. Love it. Love this one. I think this one's pretty close to being, it's it's a vampy burgundy for sure. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, I think we have one more lipstick and then the other, well, I've got a, um, a liquid lipstick and then three glosses after this one. So this is, this is called Brave Burgundy, but it's, it is a stretch. It is not true burgundy, but I wanted to show it. This is the CoverGirl, the Ageless, Simply Ageless, the moisturizing core lipsticks. And I do find them pretty moisturizing. So this is Brave Burgundy, but you're gonna see swatched under Vampira on top. It's a little more red. I mean, it passes, but do you see how Burgundy can kind of be a little bit subjective. Like some people may think of more of a vampy vampira as being burgundy. Some may think of a more red tone, you know, like brave burgundy. And then some may like a more purpley tone. Okay, this one is the Kimchi Chic. This is the Intense Pigment Non-Transfer um, all day glamour slay matte poppin liquid lipstick. It's got all sorts of <laughs> qualifiers on this thing. So this is girl next door. This is the only liquid lipstick that I'm showing you guys. 
little purpley. So here she is. Kind of like a bright burgundy, purpley burgundy. I do like these. Again, liquid lipsticks are never going to be extremely hydrating. I just solved that by popping a gloss. So speaking of, let's go ahead and do these. Bitchcraft. One of my favorite glosses by um, Lunar Beauty. Love the packaging. This smells so good, you guys. Ugh, it is like the most yummy, delicious, like vanilla cupcake. I love this shade. And this is a little leaning, um, a little bit not towards burgundy, but I just love it so much. And I think it's a perfect one to layer on top of. So if, if you have one of these matte burgundy shades or close to it that are too drying, if you pop Bitchcraft, it's not as opaque. There's definitely some sparkle, some sheerness, and it has a purpley tone. So I think it really would work on top of any, any of these without really changing it too much, especially if you popped it on something with a more red tone, the more purple gloss is going to kind of counter that and create more of a true burgundy shade. All right, the next one is Buxom. This is a lip plumping gloss and this is in the shade Zoe. Lots of sparkles in this one. It's a little bit more opaque than the Bitchcraft. Bitchcraft is definitely more sheer, but here it is right here. So again, one that you could definitely pop on top without changing it too much. Or you could wear these if you're like, I hate lipstick. If you really layer these up, you're gonna obviously get more pigment and you could get close to it. And it does a nice job, this one, of plumping the lips. And this last one, these are so underrated. I only have three and I've been meaning to buy more actually. These are the J Cat Beauty Lip Tonics. And this is the shade Marion Berry Fire. And these are awesome. They have a gorgeous shine to them. So here it is right here. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Definitely a little more, this is kind of like a, a cranberry purplish, which hey, that kind of sounds like burgundy to me. So pretty. So do you guys see what I mean about how I thought, I was like, oh, I've got all kinds of burgundy lipsticks I can show. And it's kind of hard, right? It's hard to nail down a true burgundy. I mean, I could probably post these on my Instagram and just say fall berry lip shades and not say burgundy and get away with it. But it just kind of depends on if what you see in burgundy. This one's probably the most like, what is she talking about? It's pretty pink looking when you compare them to the rest here. But yeah, this gives you guys some idea, at least some inspiration. And if these aren't spot on perfect burgundies. Well, I hope that maybe like you just like one of these shades and you really want to check it out or me talking about the formulas. I think this is fun. I haven't done a lot of lipstick videos. I have a lot in my collection. So if there's anything you guys want to see like neutrals or, you know, like cool tone browns or like chocolatey ones or something like that, or even like unique shades, grungy shades. I have, I've not counted my lips or lip products, but it's a lot. It is a lot. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.